Hi friends, this is Mr. Configurations and uh, today we have the LG L90, the dual SIM device and uh, we're going to take a review of this device. Before that, uh, uh, let us uh, take this device and see the physical specifications of the device. As you can see, the device has a 4.7 inch display uh, and uh, it looks very nice and the design is a little slimmer and it's not so thick. So we have uh, four capacity buttons on the bottom side, you have uh, a speaker grill on the top side and a VGA camera on the front side. And if you turn it to the right side, you can see a lock and lock key placed here, which is very ergonomically placed. So it's a 4.7 inch display, so uh, the device is pretty much uh, comes really handy in this day in the when you use uh, for single hand usage. It's pretty nice, it's not so large, so uh, the device feels really nice. And on the, on the top side, you can see a 3.5 mm audio jack uh, with a um, noise cancellation microphone here. And uh, on, the, on, the, on the bottom side, you can see a USB 2.0 and a microphone receiver and there is nothing provided on the left side except the volume blockers so uh, the memory card slot and all the things is uh, under this cover we have to remove it to actually play uh, take uh, take out sim card or insert memory card we have to remove the back panel so uh, that's how it's, uh, it is now let's uh, just take let's turn on the device and uh, see uh, the internal features so the device actually has an Android KitKat version, so it's latest Android version. And the processor of this device is Qualcomm Snapdragon 400. It's a 1.2 GHz processor. And uh, we have a 1 GB of RAM and 4 GB of internal memory. And uh, the device has a pretty nice spec specifications uh, compared to the previous, so that is the LG L80. So this is actually the upgraded version of that device. You can see the display is very vibrant and uh, it is far far better compared to any other devices in this price range so it is actually a 960 into 540 uh, resolution display which is QHD and uh, so and we have about 233 ppi pixel density here so it is very nice and it seems really nice in, the, in here so now let's uh, uh, unlock this device and you can see this is how the device looks like uh, and uh, I think it's pretty nicely done uh, by the LG and now let's uh, take a uh, tour of the basic features like uh, the dialer. You could see the dialer is a standard uh, KitKat dialer which is uh, pretty nice to see a uh, different color theme from Jelly Bean. And you have all that other things like contacts, favorites and group, all these things are there. Uh, there is no, nothing special in there and you can you see the contacts here and there is also all the options available and uh, now let's take the messaging option. So you would see that uh, messaging is uh, also customized. You could see it's a KitKat dialer. It's not like Jelly Bean. It's very different from the Jelly Bean version. So uh, that's also nice. And uh, the, the, the touch response of the device is also pretty nice. You could see there is not much delay and uh, I can almost uh, instantly uh, takes the uh, input. So that's nice to see. And now let's uh, go into the, in the in settings and see what is software information, software version of this device. So I'm gonna go into settings here, and I'm gonna take uh, the general settings, and I'm gonna go to the about phone. So you could see that uh, common features. You could see the software information, uh, which is 4.4.2, uh, which means it's a KitKat version. So uh, it is the latest uh, Android software available right now. So uh, that is the biggest advantage of this device. So we have uh, almost uh, seen the basic things. Now let's go into the advanced the advanced features. So now let's go into the drop down menu first. You could see there is a lot of options here like quick slide, Q, Q slide, quick memo, sound, Wi-Fi, data connection. All these options are available and you can just slide on and you can get uh, more and more options there. And uh, we will be coming back into this uh, in big detail. Before that, uh, let me take uh, a tour into the settings. You could see the settings uh, is divided into network sound display and in general category. So you could see the network, uh, yeah, yeah, the network, Wi-Fi connection, Bluetooth, all these things. And then you can just sound. You could see uh, nothing special. You can actually have a quiet mode, uh, which uh, which actually block your calls and uh, will will not allow any call. So if you want, if you don't want to take any call, you can just uh, enter into the quiet mode so that it won't be disturbed so that's pretty nice and uh, you could see the display you could see the home screen lock screen and you can adjust the brightness and if you if you are using this device in night you can actually take on this night brightness so that the whole display uh, of the device becomes uh, 
the backlight uh, will be very very at low intensity so you could actually read the display but not with the with the high brightness so that's pretty nice so one, with the one tab you could just go to that mode that's pretty nice customization and we have a screen uh, screen timeout and all that things and so and the LG has also introduced the smart screen uh, in this device which actually uh, detects your face and uh, the device will be staying on that's pretty like uh, the, the what we see in the Samsung devices uh, pretty nice and also we have the smart post feature available if you tick on this also you can activate that to actually smart post your video uh, when you don't looking at it so that's pretty nice and if you go into general you could see the gestures one handed operations the storage uh, all these things so now let's go into the into the drop down menu in detail and you could see that uh, uh, there is a, an option a lot of options here quick memo accused light uh, these are the two things uh, that i would like to say in detail because these are the specification these are specialization of this device so uh, quick memo is actually an app uh, which you actually uh, you can actually scribble down whatever you want so if you're uh, if you're going traveling in a car and if you want to uh, scribble out something you can just take this app and you can just note down the addresses or whatever it is and if you just click on this application here and the the, the number or whatever content it is will be displayed on your screen without disturbing your background app so that is pretty nice and you can actually uh, if you if you are actually scribbling you and address you can just look at the screen and you can travel to that place so that's pretty nice without disturbing any other operations you can actually call if you can actually uh, do whatever you want but this content will be remaining on the screen without disturbing all those things so that's pretty nice so uh, that's a very nice application and if you don't want it you can just click back button and you can just close that so that's pretty nice now uh, we have the quick sli quick slide here which is just like the uh, what we see here um, the the multi window uh, facilities available in the smartphones nowadays so now let's uh, take the video here and you could see the message showing up and you could see the videos in a very uh, very convenient manner so you can actually expand the video if you want you can actually expand it and you can adjust the transparency if you want so uh, these are really nice features and uh, they have pretty nicely done customized this device so if you want to decrease the transparency you can decrease it if you want to increase the, it you can actually increase it so uh, that is pretty nice feature and i really like that in this device so uh, this is very powerful and you can see there's no problem no delay no frame stuck it's very smooth even if i'm playing and i'm actually moving it around there's no stuck in the in this to this device so that's pretty nice and now you can actually open any message or whatever you want and you can just uh, do it as a multitasking you can simply do it as multitasking and if you want to expand you can expand anything and uh, you can actually adjust the transparency so that you can actually type the content and you could actually see what are you typing so this is just that i very much liked about this device so the q slide and the kick memo is a very nice app in this device so now let's uh, we have seen almost the basic things in this device now let's go into the gallery and check out some pictures and see how the display quality of the device is actually so uh, i'm gonna take this picture you can see that this device looks very vibrant and the, the zooming and the display is very responsive the touch is very responsive there is no delay in them it's very very smooth ultra smooth i can see and the viewing angles uh, are also uh, quite nice there is not much problem when you turn the device uh, to the sides uh, we have we can actually see uh, without any much distortion so that's a pretty nice thing and uh, almost uh, it's very very smooth and uh, the the processor that is 1.2 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor is doing great uh, with a combination of 1 GB of RAM so the device actually supports an Adreno 305 GPU so obviously the device will have a good performance a pretty nice performance in the multimedia features now, so now let's go into the video and uh, see how the device actually handles it so let me take a video from that so let me let me take a video you could see the video here and let's turn in to go into it and uh, you could see i have uh, two videos here so so you can see that i have a transformer which is a 720p video and the need for speed is a 180p video so now let's play the transformer first so it's a 720p video and you could see that uh, the device is playing quite smoothly with the uh, brilliant color saturations uh, pretty nice uh, nicely done and you could see I'm skipping uh, the video here and there but it's uh, playing so smoothly and uh, as I already pointed out that the device actually comes with uh, the smart post feature if you want you can actually enable that feature also so uh, almost the device has a pretty nice 
uh, video playback as you can see here. So now let's uh, play out the need for speech fail, which is a 180p video. And uh, you can also see that the device uh, plays it without any problem. And uh, in the previous review, we have already pointed out that the LG L80 was not able to play 180p video. So you could see the review there uh, that we have, we have tried to play the same video in that device, but it was not compatible. But this device has a full compatibility to 180p video, that's pretty nice. And we could actually skip to the different sections and uh, we can see there's no delay in playback. So that is also pretty nice. And you have the options to lock the screen and uh, you can actually expand the screen. And I think it's uh, it's it's the option to actually take snaps something, so that's also nice. So uh, overall, the video performance of the device is excellent. The display quality is excellent, so there is I, I can't really complain LG for that. So that's been nicely done by LG. And uh, now let's uh, go into other features. So that is the camera of this device, which is very important. So uh, the device actually supports an 8 megapixel camera, which can record up to 180p uh, videos and uh, the front camera is a VGA camera so we will be seeing both in detail so uh, LG has also done a lot of customization in the camera department so you could see this is actually the camera interface and you can see the LG uh, sees that they have a 9 point focus on this device uh, which actually focuses uh, to 9 points, 9 different points so that's pretty nice and uh, now I can see that uh, there is a little noise in the 8 megapixel camera here uh, which is not so good for this device at this price range uh, and uh, 16,000, uh, 17,000 range uh, approximately so there is a little bit noise in there so now let's uh, go into the options and see what are the options in there so as, as the same as LG L80 we have all the options here that is the cheese shutter which actually allows you to take pictures by uh, saying the word cheese it will take pictures so now let's test it out so I'm going to take on that so you could see that uh, I'm gonna turn on. I have to turn on that. So you could see I'm gonna take picture. Cheese. So you could see that the device has taken snap. So that's a pretty nice feature when you have when you are taking uh, self portraits with your friends. So that's a pretty nice feature. And you can adjust the brightness focuses and uh, you have a white balance, color effects, uh, geotagging, shutter sound. And the volume key it's a very interesting feature you can actually use the volume buttons to actually uh, take pictures that you can actually use it for capturing pictures or you can actually use it for zooming so that's a pretty nice feature and now let's uh, see the uh, different uh, modes in the uh, photo taking you can see there's a normal mode panorama mode continuous shot <laughs> in the continuous shot mode uh, we can actually take up to six pictures i think uh, they have uh, i think we, ha we can take up to six pictures and also the time capture is also a pretty nice feature where you can uh, capture some pictures and uh, the device uh, you can select the best one and uh, save it that's a pretty nice feature and you can have the sports mode where you, the high fps uh, the high fps actions will be recorded uh, pretty nicely so that's also there so now let's uh, check the delay of the device and uh, how, how fast the device can take pictures the responsiveness of uh, the the camera uh, as we say it is uh, the camera response test so already one two three i'm going to take 10 snaps as fast as possible and let's see how how fast the device can capture it so uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so as you can see the device has captured a very little amount of pictures uh, so that's pretty bad for this device as you can see uh, only one two three four five uh, images has been captured uh, I can see uh, only five images has been captured out of ten so approximately about two second delays there for capturing one image so uh, that is pretty uh, bad thing about this uh, device uh, as far as I'm concerned so uh, now let's uh, take a look at the video mode here now let's take a look at the video mode and you could see the video mode actually enables you to have a video resolution sub to full HD resolution so you can record videos at about 180p resolution so that's pretty nice at 30 fps and you have a 720p resolution here and you have can also record in QBG and QCIF all these modes are available so pretty nicely done and uh, you have all these options you can adjust the storage uh, space you can adjust the storage 
uh, where you want to store the video or that thing so that's also there and you can also have the effects uh, like uh, like live effects uh, which is not so uh, which is uh, also a great feature now let's uh, go into the front camera of the device you could see the front camera is also a little grainy as i can say there is a lot of noise in the front camera so uh, the front camera is a vga camera so we can't expect uh, much higher quality but uh, it's, uh, it's it's i can say it's a decent uh, camera but it's not as the price is concerned uh, this is not so good for this price and uh, the fps is also uh, a little low i think you can see the there is not so smooth movement in there so uh, overall the camera department uh, i must say that the device is average uh, so uh, that's about the camera department so now let's go into the benchmarking which is another important thing in this review so let's go into the nina mark 2 and see how what is the score of this device as i already said the device has 1.2 GHz quad core processor which is snapdragon 400 uh, with an internal 5 gpu and a 1 gpu of ram and memory so i would expect a pretty nice score from the device and i could see the device almost getting about in between 55 and 60 so I, I hope the device will get about 56 or 57 something uh, uh, in the total score so uh, that will be pretty nice oh so the device actually uh, has a so you can see the the scores were 59.9 fps but pretty nice score for this, this device so uh, 59.9 that is 60 fps is what you get the maximum uh, is what you get from this device so the graphic performance of the device is very nice and uh, i must say this device is very very good in gaming so if you're looking for a gaming device and if it doesn't care about the camera or whatever it is then this is actually device you can get in this price range it's pretty nicely done we have a 60 fps frame rate uh, in the anina mark 2 so now let's uh, now we have seen the anina mark 2 scores now let's go into the anto 2 benchmark and we would see that uh, uh, you could see that we have uh, obtained the score of 15,649, which is a very nice score. And uh, we have a detailed uh, version of uh, scores here, which is the RAM is uh, 2676, the CPU floor is uh, 3139, uh, and the CPU uh, integer is 3139, and the CPU floor is 3078, 2D graphics is 817, 3D graphics is 5116, data input is 550. So uh, we have a pretty nice uh, score here. So as far as the, pro the performance is concerned, this device is pretty nice so now let's see uh, what is the memory optimization of this device uh, what are the memory uh, how much memory how much of ram how much of uh, internal memory will you get uh, for the usage so now we'll let's first go into the storage and you could see that uh, the total space is uh, 3.87 and you get about 3.68 gb available the internal memory internal storage is about 8 gb of this device is about 8 gb in which uh, four point something uh, four four point some GB is, has been gone for the OS, and now we have about three point eight seven GB as internal memory. So uh, that is a uh, uh, that is a total internal memory, and you, you get about three point six eight GB for usage. And now uh, you have the the RAM here. Let me take the RAM. So now let's go into apps, and you can see the running apps. And you could see that uh, the RAM is about uh, 379, that is uh, 375 MP of RAM is free. So that's also a very nice uh, MP of RAM. Uh, out of uh, 1 GB, you get about 375 MP. And they have very nice UI. So almost uh, considering all these things, uh, this device, uh, I think it's pretty nice uh, for this price. Uh, we have already seen the, the gallery features, like for, we have shown you the picture quality, display quality the video playback we have tested 720p and 180p videos and both this device perform really nicely and uh, we have uh, gone through the camera performance uh, of this device and we found that the camera department of the device is not so good as we expected it is a bit noisy but uh, for an average user this is pretty nice and it can record uh, the videos up to 180p video recordings there and uh, now that we have seen the benchmarking scores in Nino Mark 2 it scored about uh, 50 59.9 uh, fps so that's uh, 50 60 fps the maximum uh, that can be obtained so, and the uh, benchmark also we have seen a pretty nice uh, scores and uh, uh, for thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please hit like and stay subscribed thank you